USBC, a dynamic college. There is our teaching building, a total of seven floors. The seventh floor is the lecture hall. The major events and conferences of school hold here, such as annual evaluation of Fuxing people and welcome party. The lobby has a reading corner. Students can read rest here. Classroom distributed in the second to the sixth floor, equipped with an elevator. In the rapid age of globalization and development, SBC with fully accredited UK degrees and an international teacher body, it is the perfect place of learning and living. Our library has long desk learning resource center and quiet study area. It built in 1940 and it has maintained its original features. The inside has been renovated into an area which provides modern learning functions for SBC students. Let's go inside to have a look. An SBC library not only contains many original English textbooks, but also a number of electronic database resources. Besides, you can have a rest on sofa when you feel tired. The quiet study area, e-learning resource center, and the reading room are also inside. As well as, you can find the introductions of nine corporation universities. We gather to interact and talk about our daily life and common subjects. We listen to music, eat together, and play ping pong. It is a great way to get to know each other and learn each other's languages. In 2010, Shanghai Public Transport Infrastructure was aggressively expanded and vastly improved. It's really easy to get around. Shanghai Metro is a 21st century subway system that covers most of the greater Shanghai area. More than 10 million people use it every day. It's fast and cheap. You can get a ticket from the automated kiosk or from the ticket booth. There are single journey tickets which will take you from point A to point B or the Shanghai Public Transport Card, which is a store value card that works pretty much in every public transportation around the city, including taxis. The world's largest shared bicycle operator. The mobile only costs one renminbi every half hour, and you can leave the bike just about anywhere you please. Mobile has partnered with WeChat, so you can also use the WeChat app to unlock their bikes. In China, it's really easy to get around the cashless. You can use your phone to pay for your meal and dessert. Or even to rent out battery packs at places like restaurant, hotels and coffee shops. Because this is China, payment and rentals happen via QR code. Yeah, uh, uh, see, the post, yeah, stack bundles. 
Yeah, we certified. This is the Bun, one of the principal attractions of Shanghai. It's a famous waterfront on the west bank of Hampu River and is regarded as the symbol of Shanghai. When you take the subway to the Yuan Station, except the Chinese Landscape Garden, there are Yuan Mall and the Chenghuang Temple's Snake Street. In the Chenghuang Temple, there are many Shanghai local snakes, such as the special fried things, shaved noodles, and a variety of kinds of Chinese desserts. Sweet to steam buns and Chinese style baked roll. They are all full of Chinese characteristic food. The small stores in the mall each has its own characteristics. Customers bustling, it maintains Chinese ancient town street style. Welcome to Xinxiangji. It is situated in the middle of Shanghai town. Xinxiangji's style is very unique because it combines the old and modern architecture. It has plenty of bars, restaurants and shops where you can gather with locals as well as foreigners. Tianzi Fun is a great place to enjoy Chinese arts in Shanghai. One of the highlights is the old residential buildings called Shikumen, literally stone doors. Tianzi Fun now is home to boutiques, shops, bars, and restaurants. Being a city that never sleeps, Shanghai's liveliness goes well beyond daytime activity. At night, the city's clubs and bars are its heartbeat.
cidade e é uma cidade que eu sinto que tudo acontece aqui. Em poucas cidades eu tenho esse sentimento e Xangai é uma delas. Love every minute of Shanghai and China, all the different range of activities, food and culture from international to um, local as well. And been learning Chinese and the locals are very helpful here. So um, yeah, I очень обожаю этот город и в нем есть какая-то своя магия. Like what attracts me most about Shanghai is how culturally intact the people are, yet how advanced the city is. I think it's also just like how friendly and open people are, you know. You Shanghai because there's stimulation everywhere and there's always something to do. Shanghai, in Shanghai I lived two years and it was for the experience, the change of cultural Y, y bueno, es una nueva aventura, una nueva aventura y al final está muy bien. Um, too many opportunities, too many things to see, too many places to go. People are absolutely friendly, super safe, super clean. And, uh, and yeah, really enjoying the life here and the kind of way of life and how people interact in all the different shops and uh, yeah, places. So. This is Nanjing Dong. <laughs>